continue our journey of the water-soluble vitamins with B7, better known as biotin. A little background. Three years ago, some smart, powerful people created an artificial closed ecological system in an undisclosed location to explore the idea that humans could survive in space. We'll be monitoring two brave volunteers who were hermetically sealed in the B7 biodome as a part of an ongoing experiment. But first, let's spend some time discussing why we need biotin. Biotin plays an important role for several metabolic pathways, including gluconeogenesis, fatty acid synthesis, the vomit pathway, and branched-chain amino acid catabolism. Biotin serves as a cofactor for carboxylase enzymes, which use CO2 to add one carbon groups to substrates. The three big enzymes that require biotin include pyruvate carboxylase, represented by the box of pirate hats, acetyl-CoA carboxylase, represented by the box of acetyl-colas, and propionyl-CoA carboxylase represented by the box of pepperoni pizza plus cola. Please check out our gluconeogenesis, fatty acid synthesis, and vomit pathway sketches for more information. So where do we get biotin? Well, it's present in many foods like vegetables, egg yolks, and soybean products. Biotin is also synthesized by intestinal bacteria and absorbed the same way as vitamin B5, via the sodium-dependent multivitamin transporter in the small and large intestine. So not getting enough biotin is rare. Nevertheless, let's go over some reasons why someone might develop biotin deficiency. You've probably heard that consuming raw egg whites may lead to deficiency. It's true, but you need to eat a lot of them every day over many months. Raw egg whites contain avidin, which binds to biotin, preventing intestinal absorption. Cooking the egg whites denatures avidin, allowing biotin to be absorbed. Hereditary disorders that affect biotin metabolism are another reason for deficiency, but they rarely occur. Biotinidase deficiency is an autosomal recessive inborn error of biotin metabolism. Biotinidase is an enzyme that liberates biotin from food during digestion so it can be absorbed. It also allows the body to recycle biotin. This robotic B7 extractor represents biotinidase, which extracts biotin from food. Unfortunately, it looks like it's broken at the moment. Wonder why no one's gotten around to repairing it yet. Let's turn your attention to the prism color spectrum above the ABX tower to help you remember that taking broad-spectrum antibiotics for extended periods may result in biotin deficiency because they eradicate biotin-producing gut bacteria. All right, it's been two years, two months, and two days. It's finally time to check on our volunteers. Wow, this is not good at all. This is just terrible, quite frankly. But I guess this is a good place to illustrate the clinical findings of biotin deficiency. Patients typically present with muscle aches, hair loss, and perioral dermatitis, which is a scaly red macular rash around the mouth, nose, and, less commonly, eyes. They may also have enteritis, which usually manifests as anorexia and diarrhea. Unfortunately, it looks like this malnourished man is trying to send a message with some leftover chocolate frosting. Wait a sec. I don't think that's chocolate. Ew. Patients with biotin deficiency may also present with neuropsychiatric dysfunction, as shown by the fallen brain hat. They might have depression, lethargy, hallucinations, altered mental status, hypotonia, seizures, ataxia, paresthesias, all nonspecific findings. We've illustrated some of the neurological features here, but just keep in mind that you probably won't be asked to recall each of them because they are nonspecific. Don't want to state the obvious, but yeah. Looks like this experiment might be ending soon. But before we move on, just be aware that developmental delay can occur in children with biotin deficiency. Or maybe not. Biodome experiment completion delayed. The four worst words for our volunteers. Lastly, take a whiff of our recurring symbol of spoiled milk, aka lactic acidosis, another finding. Recall that biotin is a cofactor for the gluconeogenesis enzyme pyruvate carboxylase. Not having enough biotin impairs gluconeogenesis and causes excess pyruvate to be converted to lactate. Okay, let's wrap up the sketch before I whistle blow this experiment away for good. Biotin is a cofactor for pyruvate carboxylase, acetyl-CoA carboxylase, and propionyl-CoA carboxylase. These enzymes add one carbon groups to substrates using CO2. Biotin is naturally found in many foods, and gut bacteria also make it. Reasons for deficiency include consuming raw egg whites, inborn errors like biotinidase deficiency, and prolonged broad-spectrum antibiotics. Biotin deficiency causes myalgias, hair loss, perioral dermatitis, and enteritis. Some patients may also present with neuropsychiatric dysfunction. And finally, lactic acidosis can occur, 